don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on bell notifications for future videos as well as entering into all our competitions. We recently did a 500 subs competition. We'll be announcing the winner of that on our community tab very soon. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Challenge 18 volt cordless grass trimmer, which comes with an 18 volt detachable lithium R battery, as well as a charger, and can be used for grass cutting, as well as grass edging, and is compact and lightweight and inexpensive. Now you can buy this grass trimmer from Argos here in the UK. I'll have the link in the description below if you want to check out more specifications as well as the current price of this grass trimmer now i have had this grass trimmer for over three years so this is going to be an in-depth user experience based on my personal experience of this grass trimmer which comes in bright yellow so you'll never lose it even if you tried to. Now my personal use case scenario is using this in the allotments, but I'm going to show you an action in my house and show you in my garden, sorry, and the performance it does there in various scenarios. Now inside the box, of course you get the grass trimmer itself in, in all its blight yellow um, color. Um, maybe they could have done a nicer color. You get the instruction manual here which shows you how to use the various features as well as the assembly of the grass trimmer. You get two white boxes. Make sure you don't throw them away because one of them is the battery and of course these boxes are not labeled at all. And the other box is your charger as well. So make sure you keep those two boxes safe because you are going to need them. Now you have your guard which you are have going to have to assemble with some two Phillips screws which are included so you will need a screwdriver. You get the grass trimmer itself and it only comes with one line out. The 18 volt battery here I feel is a bit low. It should have been 24 volts of power because this battery does run out. Um, and unfortunately nowhere on this battery is there any indication of the current power level so when it does cut out on you it does cut out on you instantly this is the mechanism to lock the battery it is pretty sturdy but the disappointing fact is i think 24 volts would have been better plus there's no power indication on this battery anywhere so you really don't know how much battery you're working with which i think is a shame on a device like this where you know you need the most amount of power uh, for the longest periods of time and you want to know if it's ready to go or it's going to die on you so you can charge it you just get a nasty surprise you do have the charger which does have a light indicator on the bottom there it glows red when the device is charging and when it's green it means it's fully charged that's the only indication you get on the charger itself it is in two parts so you do have to connect this barrel adapter into the next part of the charger which slides over the battery terminals so you will have to keep them safe and this is the charger terminal so you connect it at the back here and that goes slides over the battery and charges your battery again no power indication on this either so the only indication is in the plug that goes into the socket which shows you it's charging and when it's fully charged and that is a bit of a shame it's pretty lightweight small device here um, but you will have to keep it safe uh, if you don't want to lose it because it is two separate parts as opposed to being one part which I'm not too sure about how I feel about that to be honest it is quite lightweight and I say it's probably the lightest cheapest feeling part of the whole package now this is my garden I think this is the second or third cut of the season so the grass is growing rapidly here and I'm just going and cutting the grass of course I would not use this to cut my lawn I do have a black and decker trimmer that turns into a lawn mower as well and I would use that rather than this I use this at the allotments where there's no power and I don't want to use a petrol lawn mower which is healthy and bulky so I choose to use this instead and as you can see I'm cutting here the grass which is not fairly long but it is long and it does need cutting and the grass trimmer it's doing a decent enough job but it's not giving me a clean cut so I just bash it on the floor there quickly and that cuts the wire and gives me a new piece of wire from the spool 
and it cuts the grass I would say in a okay manner you'll see what I mean later on in the video when I say it does struggle with giving you an even cut so here there's some uneven long grass here and I'm making a few passes to cut off the bulk of the grass which is doing a great job but this would be perfect to use in the allotments on grass this tall anything taller than this in large clumps it is going to struggle especially if it's wet um, it does struggle at the allotments sometimes and I do have to visit it three times after charging the battery um, because there's only one battery for this device uh, let's look at the edging capabilities of this trimmer now we can see the edges here very tall grass and it cuts the bulk really really well when it's dry but you'll see in a second here it just struggles at the end there to cut the bulk of the grass where it's clumped together tightly and I do have to make several passes to make sure it does get every bit of longer grass and to give it an even enough cut see that in action again from a better angle so here you can see you've got some tall grass and it appears that it's doing a good enough job but I can assure you off camera it is a very uneven cut it gives and you'll see that later on in the video here so it's doing a good job here against the wall and it's got this metal guard rail for the edging and if you want to do the edging there's two features here you've got the clip uh, lever which allows you to twist the handle and you've got the length uh, locker here so if you feel like the tr uh, trimmer is not long enough or needs to be shorter you can change it there but here we're just using it for edging so all you need to do is push down on that lever turn it around and that's uh, your edging capabilities enabled um, I've just made the trimmer a bit longer so I'm just locking the wire nut there so here you'll see what I mean by it's not giving you a clean cut especially when it comes to edging I don't think the motor is powerful enough and that's largely due to the small battery that comes with this um, it's cut the grass there but you can see it's not very even or clean and it looks like a 12 year old kids cut it with some scissors um, doesn't really do a big job again it cuts the bulk grass here pretty well uh, but I do have to make several passes to make sure it gets it and it's not clean cut. I do have a Black & Decker trimmer which is mains powered which is the one I do use in my house which gives a mar uh, far better cut than this does and I will be making a video on that and comparing it to this but now let's switch it back to cutting uh, from edging to lawn cutting. All I have to do is again push on that lever, twist the handle and you go from edging to cutting the grass uh, which is nice and easy simple that's a good feature of this grass trimmer and again you can see here I'm making several passes this grass isn't that long but the fact that I have to make several passes just to make sure I get every piece of blade of grass is a bit of a shame and here again long grass this is really long grass if this was wet grass this would really struggle to cut through um, with this grass but because it's dry and we've had some good weather it's done some decent cutting of some long grass it cuts the bulk really really well but it's not going to give you that carpet like finish it's not going to give you that clean cut you're going to have to make several passes with it i feel uh, in my experience and the battery runs out if you're having to do the same thing again and again and you're not going to cover a big area so this for me would be perfect if you've got a small garden and you just want to cut the grass and you're not too bothered about the appearance or you want to take it to the allotments and use it three or four times a year to cut down the grass to help with the trimming with a maybe a lawnmower rather than using a bulky petrol lawnmower and here's a perfect example of where the grass trimmer just doesn't have the power to do the edging I think it really lets itself down on the edging um, you can see how it's just not really giving an even cut. It's cutting the bulk of the grass off, but it's not a clean cut. You wouldn't be proud of this cut, um, certainly, to give your garden a good enough appearance. You can see it's kind of butchering the edge here. It's quite thick, the grass in this particular area. It's kind of grown up, out into the patio as well. So very strong roots and stuff. And the, this grass trimmer is really struggling to cut the edging here. Whereas the Black & Decker uh, mains powered grass trimmer does a much better job 
of it and if you want to see that video make sure you subscribe to the channel of course subscribing to your channel does enter you into our competitions which allows you to basically have a chance to win prizes and all you have to do is be a subscriber that's it hit the subscribe button you're automatically entered into future competitions but you can see this grass trimmer is really struggling here with the edging even though you can adjust the blade there at the bottom with uh, the push button it just isn't powerful enough to give you a clean cut and of course the battery can just die on you randomly after you've been cutting the grass because there's no indication on the device of where the power levels are which is a big problem so one other problem is this uh, one wire um, it's not I think good enough uh, I think if there was two maybe with this power it could have done a better job the edging guard there is just a piece of wire on other devices it's a wheel which I feel is better it does have the advantage that you can adjust the length pretty easily by this locking nut you can also change the orientation from edging by just pushing down on this lever and twisting the arm which is really nice this handle is terrible you can't adjust it it's just stationary and I feel it can make holding the device for long periods of times difficult because there's no adjustment to it you've got the battery there which is safely secured with this yellow pin and you just switch it down to remove the battery one of the downsides of the battery is there's no power indication on this device at all so you're really in the dark when it comes to the level of the battery you're dealing with and you get a nasty surprise when it just dies on you instantly there's no indication that it's running out on battery either it just cuts out um, but it's fairly secured and easy to put on you can see one-handed use right there safety feature here you have to push down on this button before you can activate the power if you don't you won't be able to pull down on the trigger what would i give this grass trimmer out of 10 um 10 being good uh amazing and one being terrible i'd probably say uh, give it a five in certain use cases it does its job it's not the best it's not going to give you a clean cut it's not going to make your carpet uh, your lawn look like a carpet it's not going to give you nice edging but it is going to do a job maybe if you don't have power access maybe you've got a small lawn maybe if you maintain it regularly it's going to give you a clean cut is it going to give you a clean cut as a mains powered or more expensive grass trimmer probably not in fact it won't um, the black and decker trimmer i have gives me a perfect cut um, here you can see really close down i'm showing you it's really like patchy some bits are long some bits are short it's very uneven uh, grass trimming here it, uh, it does a decent job in removing the bulk as long as it's dry but as to getting a nice finish it kind of lacks in the power to give you that nice finish as you can see it's done an okay job but it could be better make sure you subscribe to the channel to enter into our future competitions we'll be announcing a winner on our community tab for my last competition really soon make sure you subscribe to the channel for that comment down below if you've got any questions and like this video it really does help us out guys we'll see you guys in the next video right here on rme tv